we're sick again and I'm going to talk with you about how we homeschool while we're sick because it's super important that education doesn't just stop because we're not feeling well. No, of course, if your child's severely sick, has a fever, can't get out of bed, let them rest. But if they are still in a state of where they kind of don't feel good sometimes, but they feel better at others, you can still do the core subjects of your education, making sure that they don't fall behind. Or you could choose to take those days off and play catch up on a weekend. So we have lots of curriculum, lots and lots and lots. We're not gonna make our kids do we're not going to make our kids do all of that on one day. So instead, what's going to happen is each child has a basket, and I'm going to show you um, kind of what this would look like. This is Piper's basket, and right now all of this is out because I've been choosing what I want them to do today, but I would have her things in her basket like this, and so I put her things in her in her book. These are my other daughters, so I'm going to make sure we don't confuse them. Oh, I'm putting all her things in here, and what would happen is I would be like, okay, well, we know that we need to do language arts and math. Those are the core curriculums we have for our kids. And science can be done still, but we just do them in a much simpler form. So, Let's say we know that we're studying ancients this year. So we're studying Egypt right now. I can utilize technology and things like YouTube to my benefit and have them watch a video on Hammurabi's Code or the Great Pyramid of Giza. And those things will all tie in. It allows me to have some rest for a little bit. Plenty for you guys to be able to choose from um, online that gives you a break during those highs and lows because we have these like I have a little bit of energy and then it goes back down. I have no energy. And so utilize those low energy moments to have technology fill in the blanks for your education. Otherwise, make sure that they just get math and language arts in. At least that's what we do as a family. So it doesn't allow us to fall behind. And then also we're not taking up our days off because we really love and enjoy our days off. So that's kind of our suggestion. We let the, the extras go to the wayside. So read alouds, piano lessons, all those types of things are not a focus when we're sick. Just the core important things. The language arts and math are something that I find are important every single day. And all the other fluff. So the fluff, this is the core. And so other stuff can wait and be done at a later time. Um, they're not gonna get far behind. If the fluff is missing, it just enhances. So hopefully that helps you to know kind of how you can do school. Um, we do it in my bed, because I'll lay and rest. Kids will bring their stuff in and I'll supervise and look over it. And it works for us. So hopefully it will work for you. Um, and hopefully you won't be sick like us all the time. We've found with having a co-op and being around a lot of people every week, sickness just kind of comes every couple weeks someone's getting something different and it spreads so hopefully you'll have a healthy school year thank you for watching and we'll see you next time